So you're considering a diesel sprinter. You might be wondering what the DEF system is. Basics you should know about your sprinter diesel engine, AdBlue, DEF, DPF, NOx. I'm Van Bay, I'm your van resource, and that's what's on this episode. What is DEF? What is diesel exhaust fluid? Diesel exhaust fluid is a liquid that works in conjunction with your fuel and you must monitor it as if it was windshield washer, fluid, or antifreeze inside your car. The fluid cleans your exhaust before it exits the tailpipe. Also cleans the soot and particles out of the diesel particulate filter, lowering the emissions, less pollution. The diesel exhaust fluid in a Sprinter diesel engine goes underneath the hood in a blue cap off to the left hand side. Not to be confused with your diesel fuel port where you actually put fuel inside your engine. For the Sprinter models prior to 2019, so 2018 and older, the Sprinter, unless you had a multifunction steering wheel, you were unable to read your fluid level. So the overpour system was good. I always used to tell the customers to keep it full by always just every four to 5,000 miles, fill it up, fill it up until it overflowed. Now with the new th 2019 Sprinter, the 907 engine, the 907 model, has a diesel exhaust fluid reader right above your gas reader in the center console on your dash. So my name is Freddy Coronel, I'm a Mercedes van technician. I worked on the Sprinter commercial vehicles for the past 10 years. So the DF system, it's pretty much the system that cleans the exhaust system on the diesel engines. It pumps, it pumps the fluid to this. It's the AdBlue injection nozzle. It sprays the AdBlue that we just put it on the tank and it sprays to clean the exhaust system before it goes out in the air. One of the biggest problem is they forget to, to fill the, the DF fluid. Uh, when that happens, the system is not gonna work properly. When it runs low, the vehicles don't move more than 50 miles per hour. You gotta fill it up, uh, I would say every week. On the newer vans, 907 model, there is a gauge that when you see that you're running low, uh, you just gotta fill it up. Add Blue is Mercedes-Benz brand of diesel exhaust fluid. We obviously use that here at Mercedes-Benz service shops. If you are using a substance that is not Mercedes-Benz brand, you want to make sure that it is approved by a Mercedes-Benz dealer or inside your manual there is a percentage of urea and water that you can compare it to to make sure that it qualifies for warranty okay fluid. If you put in a fluid, an alternative fluid that is not Mercedes-Benz brand and it is not the same percentage required by a Mercedes-Benz engine, it can and almost every single time will void your warranty. For warranty purpose, if we find out as a technician that you, the, the customer used the wrong fluid, absolutely warranty is going to be voided. So it's important to have that in mind. Add blue fluid or diesel exhaust fluid, it's a mix of urea and water, 32%. So what it does, it, it cleans the exhaust system to minimize the nitrogens of the exhaust emissions and pollutions and better air. Also, when customers purchase uh, the DF fluid on the aftermarket or a gas station, sometimes it's not 100% pure, percentage of water is too high and that will kill the whole DF system. I've seen it a thousand times. A customer goes into your local service shop or your gas station and the guy says he wants to top off your windshield wiper fluid and he accidentally pours it inside your add blue tank. You want to make sure that any substance that goes anywhere near your engine, especially your diesel exhaust fluid system, that you are touching it to make sure that it is add blue or a substance of equal percentage urea and water. The DPF is the diesel particulate filter. The system basically burns off the soot and dirt particles from entering into your engine. Without high speeds, like highway driving, the particulate filter can often jam up. One really, really important piece of information, in order for your diesel particulate filter to burn off the soot and harmful particles, you have to drive a few times a month at least on the highway. 
When the diesel particulate filter is blocked, it basically causes your engine to go into a limp mode or prevents you from being able to drive. It has a soot content, which means those particles needs to be clean in the exhaust system. And the only way that happens is when you drive in a highway. This right here is the SCR cap, that's after the DPF. So what happens is most of the time when customers don't drive these trucks on the highway, these exhaust systems get clogged and the DPF flex by breaks. That's why it's important to do the regeneration on the DPF and this in particular. How often do you have to do that? Well, the car or the truck does itself as long as you drive on the highway. driving or city driving, stop and go driving if you will, can sometimes impact a diesel engine in a negative way because the filter doesn't have the time on the engine running at its hot temperatures to fully burn those soots and dirt particles out of the engine. Your filter will eventually become blocked and you're going to find yourself in the service department a lot more. If you drive the truck on the highway, it will consume less out blue because you're cleaning the exhaust more. If you drive local or idling, the DF will constantly clean the exhaust because the car is running pretty much all the time. NOx sensors are sometimes mentioned by service advisors and Freddie mentioned it early in the video and what those are is nitrous oxygen sensors that work in conjunction with your diesel particulate filter to make sure that those poor emissions are not burning into the ozone. You have the upstream NOx sensor here, uh, you so you have the other temperature sensor and the downstream max sensor. So it measures the nitrogen from the upstream and pulls the exhaust system. So it measures how much from there and after you clean the exhaust, how much exhaust is coming out to the air. For owners and drivers, it's just always keep the the DF fluid, the up blue, a top off all the time, and the system drive your vehicle on the highway. If you do those two things, it shouldn't be no problems with your van. Special thanks to our friend Freddie for joining us today on this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Diesel exhaust fluid and diesel fuel are completely separate parts of the engine. No, fluids. <laughs>